Hello everyone, Katarina here. Welcome to my fifth Christmas card for this year. I made this Christmas card with bubbles, bubbles, I just don't know how to pronounce it, Christmas ornament with golden leaves. I've been seeing these on Instagram and Pinterest and finally I decided to make one myself. This is super easy, all you need are watercolor supplies, watercolor paints, watercolor cardstock and brushes. I also have golden watercolors for the leaves, black fine liner for the string and I will also be using masking fluid but that's optional. I used a washi and taped the panel onto a board and then I drew a circle, I used a die to outline the circle, you could also use a cap or compass or something similar. My pencil line was a bit too dark, so I used an eraser and slightly erased the line. Next I used a masking fluid with a brush, an inexpensive brush that I don't really use for watercoloring. I applied the masking fluid from the outside of the circle. Masking fluid is used for areas that you do not want to paint over. Well, if you apply it properly, which I didn't do, you will see that later. If you don't have a masking fluid, just paint carefully around the edges. I did that in this video. You could also, instead of using a pencil for the circle, you could paint the edges of a cap and stamp the circle, which creates a watercolor outline. After the masking fluid was dry, I waited about 20 to 30 minutes. I think I had a lunch whilst I was waiting. So after the masking fluid was dry, I started painting the ornament. The colors are completely up to you. I decided to use Purple Lake from Winsor & Newton Cotman series. I also will be using Gonzai Tambi from Koretake, the number 37, which is purple. This is not required at all, I will explain it in a bit, you can just use one paint. I started with the Winsor & Newton and I applied a base coat, leaving a highlight not really in the middle, slightly towards the right. Once I was happy with my first application, I dried it with my heat tool and for the next layers, I used the purple from Gonzai Tambi. The reason I did this is because the Gonzai watercolors compared to traditional watercolors can be lifted very easily. It's great for fixing mistakes, but not when you want to layer. That's why I used the Winsor & Newton for the first layer, so I can paint over it. I had struggled a bit with getting the color right I wanted dark edges and highlight in the middle. I think I just was overthinking it and to be honest this is not really needed because of the golden leaves. After I was happy with the look, I dried the image and then I removed the masking tape. I just used my finger to remove it, but I saw people using a specific eraser. So, as I mentioned earlier, I did not apply the masking fluid properly. And here we can see there are small dots at the top and the bottom on the left side of the circle. I first thought tossing it into the bin and start over, but then I decided to embrace it. I will be tackling the mistake in a bit, first I needed to paint the leaves. I decided to use a lighter gold, it's the champagne gold from the Gansai Tambi Starry Color Set. I actually created a sketch of what I wanted to do. This is it, I highly recommend doing that, it makes the painting much easier. I painted very simple leaves, just a curved line and teardrop shapes along it. Some of the branches were longer, some of them were shorter and I filled the circle with the leaves. I always have photos of my cards over on my website in the corresponding blog post, so if you would like to see a still image, you can check it out. The link is in the description.
the leaves are finished and now let's tackle my mistake. As I said, I was going to embrace it and I decided to add splatter. Pretty logical, isn't it? I die cut a circle to cover the ornament because I did not want any splatter over that and I splattered the background. This blends those tiny dots perfectly. Unless you knew they were there, you would not notice. So let's pretend this was the plan all along. Once the background was dry, I painted the top of the ornament. Here I used different gold and I just painted a small rectangle with a loop on top of it. I also trimmed the panel as I wanted it to be slightly smaller than my card base. You could also use a die if you have one or just leave it as it is. I also stamped the greeting. It says a Merry Christmas. If you don't have stamps, you can just use a black pen and write it yourself. I painted the edges of the panel using the gold paint. This is something I like to do. I like to give border to my panels, but you can skip this. Last thing that is still missing is the string attached to the ornament. I used a black fine liner for that. I started with a straight line. I wanted to draw it freehand. I did not want to use a ruler, but I wanted to make sure it's straight. So I just placed the ruler near it. And then I drew two loops and two wavy strings. Lastly, I add here the panel on top of a card base. Here I used a card base made out of a craft cardstock and I used a liquid glue to adhere it. And the card is done! It's so simple yet so pretty. I love how shiny the leaves are and you would never suspect I made a mistake. If you would like to see another card with Christmas ornaments I made using watercolors, check out this video. Here I painted two simple landscapes. Thank you all so much for watching, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in my next video.